We are in Nipigon, Ontario, which is, in my opinion, one of the most interesting communities in Canada. Not necessarily because of the attractions that it has, but because it's likely the most visited community that you've never even heard of. See, prior to the 1900s, the only way to get into this area was either by canoe or by steamship. And that is until the Trans-Canada Rail Line, the Canadian Pacific Railway, was built, connecting Toronto to Vancouver, that came right through here. It wasn't until 1937 that the Trans-Canada Highway came through the area with Highway 11, connecting Cochrane, 600 kilometers to the east, to Thunder Bay, another 112 kilometers to the west. This means that this bridge behind me is the narrowest transportation bottleneck in all of Canada. All route traffic that wants to go from Montreal to Vancouver, from Edmonton to Toronto, or from Saskatoon to Sarnia has to cross this bridge. So what happens, do you think, if something were to go wrong with it? Well, that's the situation that we found ourselves back in 2016. The original bridge built in the 30s was replaced in the 70s, and by 2015, it was obvious that the bridge needed to be replaced again. So the cable stay bridge you see behind me was put in the plan. However, the company that was building the bridge didn't necessarily put the extreme weather of Northwestern Ontario into account. And so one frigid winter evening, the only lane that was open connecting Eastern Canada to Western Canada buckled under the cold weather. For almost 24 hours, there was no route connection to connect Eastern Canada and Western Canada. Traffic had to be rerouted at Sault Ste. Marie and Thunder Bay to go through Wisconsin, Minnesota, and Michigan to get through to the other side of the country. So if you've ever traveled from east to west, I guarantee you you've crossed that bridge and you've been to Nipigon, a small little town you may not have even heard of.